Our latest polling in New Hampshire shows Ron Paul in a solid second place, and he's demonstrating that he's in it for the long haul with a big ad buy in South Carolina targeting Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum. One serial hypocrite exposed. He went the other way when he got paid to go the other way. Now, another has emerged. Rick Santorum, a corporate lobbyist and Washington politician, a record of betrayal. The facts? Santorum promised a balanced budget amendment, then voted five times to raise the debt. So what is the Ron Paul campaign strategy? Well, joining me from Washington is Doug Weed, a senior advisor to the Paul campaign. Doug, good morning. Hey, good morning, Alex. Well, why spend all this money in South Carolina, especially against Rick Santorum? Because you're not going after the same pool of voters as him, are you? Well, I'll explain it to you. The, okay. the exit polls in Iowa show that 25 percent of the Republican Party approximately favor a liberal Republican, and those votes are Mitt Romney's. The other 70 percent, there's 5 percent unsure, the other 70 percent of the GOP do not want Romney. They want a conservative. And your own Marist NBC poll last night showed that the, the candidate they view as the truest conservative in this race is Ron Paul. So whoever wins this battle among the five, four now conservatives that are dividing this vote could be the nominee. All right. Well, you did a good job explaining it then. Um, as I mentioned, Ron Paul, though, at this point, a distant fourth in South Carolina. What mm -hmm. is your goal there? Is second good enough? Well, it's interesting. The, the other candidates that uh, are running for power, uh, vote for me, I'm a good guy, and if I get in power, I'll do good things. So they're dependent on, on first or second. All this is very important to them, or third, because they can't raise money if they can't show their winners. We represent a cause, and our people uh, will support us financially, and thus the campaign go on, because whether we come in first or second or third, the cause remains and we will be able to sustain this marathon campaign. And we think uh, the news media is misreading it because of the proportionality of the delegates that this is going to last a lot longer than it did last cycle. Hmm. Um, Doug, I want to ask you about something, uh, honing in on New Hampshire, because there's this online ad that's being run by a group supporting your candidate. They are called the NH Liberty for Paul. In this ad, it features John Huntsman's adopted children. There's one from China, one from India as well. And we're going to play part of it for those who haven't seen it. Here it is. You've heard it. Some people are saying that's a low blow using Huntsman's adopted children in this ad. Do you condemn this, Doug? I mean, is your campaign repudiating this ad? And, is, and if so, is there a way to put a stop to it? Totally, and we've asked whoever it is to take it down. Now, we expect NBC, we expect you to do your job to find out who it is. We don't know who it is. You say that that's one of our supporters. Uh, we don't know that. Well, whoever it is, we've asked them if they are a supporter to take it down. But, me, but, but really their name, I mean, I think th that, that well, states you know in the NH, well, NH Liberty for Paul is the name <laughs> well, behind anybody, it. Anybody can put that up. I've been in seven presidential campaigns. If you can find out who did it, we will tell them to take that off right away. But we don't know who did it. And we, can't, we have about 500,000 people who support us. And we like our supporters. Uh, the number one contributor to Barack Obama's super PAC is Goldman Sachs. The number one contributor to Mitt Romney's super PAC is Goldman Sachs. We like the people who are supporting us. There are people who've lost their jobs, lost the value of their homes, their IRAs, their retirement. They're good people. And the Republican Party cannot afford to shut the door on the Ron Paul supporters. Uh, but we disavow this ad and we disavow those tactics. Okay. Saying it like it is. Doug Weed, I want to thank you for that. See you again. Thanks. Thanks. Alex.